My dear Sangha, today is the 2nd of uh, June, 1998, and we are in the 21-day retreat in Burlington, Vermont. Our breathing should be uh, pleasant, should bring us uh, joy. And uh, if it happens that you don't know what to do at that moment, the right thing to do is to go back to your breathing and enjoy your breathing, because your breathing is enjoyable. And when you enjoy your breathing, you know that you are doing it uh, right. I believe that you already know the exercise in, out, uh, deep, slow, calm, ease, smile, release, present moment, wonderful moment. This exercise uh, is very pleasant to practice. You drive your car and you can practice uh, this uh, short poem for, for, for your breathing. You sit on a bus or in, on the train, you practice also uh, in, out, deep, slow. And uh, suppose you are washing the dishes in the kitchen. Yeah, that is the time also to practice uh, in, out, deep, slow, and smile to yourself. Smile to uh, your presence and your uh, dishwashing. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in, breathing out. I know I am breathing out. And uh, we summarize these two sentences as uh, in, out. Breathe in such a way that you enjoy your in-breath and out-breath. And then that is the su success. It's a very simple exercise, and yet if you, if you do it, you realize the miracles. Just breathing in and enjoy it. Breathing out and enjoy it. And be one with your in-breath. Be one with your out-breath. And become fully alive, fully present in the here and the now. That is nothing less than a miracle that you can produce at any time of your daily life. Breathing in, I know I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I know I'm breathing out. In, out. When you do like that, mindfulness is there, concentration is there, and life is there. You stop all your thinking, your projects. You are one with your breathing. It's wonderful. After a few minutes of breathing like that, the quality of your breathing will increase by itself. And you may like to try the second line, deep, slow. It means breathing in, I know that my in-breath has become deep. It has become deep by itself, not because of your intention to make it deeper, if you practice uh, in out for some time, naturally your in breath will become deeper and slower. It cannot be avoided. Uh, when mindfulness uh, touches something, it improves the quality of that something. And that is why your breathing has become uh, more harmonious, uh, calmer. And that produces a more pleasant feeling within your body and your consciousness. So deep, slow means 
breathing in, I notice that my in-breath has become deeper. Breathing out, I notice that my out-breath has become slower. It only means that my, the quality of my breathing uh, has been improved. When you begin the exercise, the pleasure is already there with the in out. And that pleasure grows, continues to grow with your practice of in out. And now when you, be, when you come to deep slow, you know that uh, you enjoy it more. Because uh, now your in-breath and out-breath has become deeper and slower, more calm, more harmonious. And it, help, it helps your body to be more calm and more harmonious. And also it has uh, an effect on your consciousness, on your mind. So when you practice deep, slow, of course the pleasure is greater. just because the quality of the breath has increased. And later on you may try the third line of the regatta. Calm, ease. Breathing in, I feel calm within my body and my mind. Um, or if you want, you can uh, see it as a breathing in, I calm the activities of my body. I calm the formation called body. Breathing out, I calm the, the formation uh, which is called uh, feeling. So this is uh, uh, exactly the practice recommended by the Buddha in the Sutra on Mindful Breathing. Experiencing the feeling I breathe in, experiencing the feeling I breathe out, calming the feeling I breathe in, calming the feeling I breathe out. Calm is means uh, breathing in, I feel calm within myself. Not only my body is calm, but also my feeling has become calm. So you experience your body, you experience your feeling, and you breathe in and out in order to, to, uh, to calm the formations. First your body and then your feelings. Ease means uh, breathing out. I feel at ease. I ease everything. I take everything at ease. I take time to live my daily life. I am not in a hurry. I feel wonderful in this moment. It means ease. You feel light. You don't feel burdened by your worries, by your uh, afflictions. Uh, you feel uh, you have the freedom within yourself, within your body, your body. You feel being yourself, not a victim of your worries, not a victim of your past and your worries about the future. Calm is 
and uh, of course uh, that that exercise is also very rewarding very pleasant breathing in i feel calm within my body my feeling breathing out i feel very much at ease with myself i take uh, everything at ease in out deep slow calm ease and then smile release breathing in i smile breathing out i let go i let go of my projects of my uh, worries about the future of my regret concerning the past because the present moment is so wonderful and I am capable of touching the wonders of life in the present moment. Breathing in, I smile. And the smile has the capacity of uh, releasing all the tensions that are, that are left on your face, on your body. This is a smile of uh, victory. This is a smile of uh, loving kindness directed to your own body, your own feelings. And uh, when you breathe out, you become a much freer person, release. Nothing is as important as your peace. as your stability, as your freedom. You cannot exchange these valuable things for anything else. Nothing is worth to, uh, to exchange your well-being, your freedom, your ease. So release here means you have become uh, yourself, you are capable of releasing all your cows. Your ideas, even your ideas of happiness. Each of us is caught in our idea of happiness. We believe that we will be truly happy when such on such the conditions are available. So we have an idea about happiness. And we don't know that that very idea of happiness is the obstacle for our being happy. And if you are capable of releasing that idea of happiness, happiness will be born in you right away. Well, there's a young man who thinks that uh, he can only be happy if he gets that uh, degree, that diploma. There's another young person who said that, well, if he uh, he cannot uh, get into that position, he cannot m marry that person, and then happiness will not be possible. So we set up conditions for our happiness, and we are caught in that idea. But happiness can come to us at any time if we are a free person. Why are you committed only to one one idea of happiness. When you are committed uh, to one idea of happiness, you limit your capacity of being happy. And if you let go of that idea of happiness, and then happiness 
can come from every direction. One country might be caught by one idea about ha happiness. A whole nation might think that unless you realize uh, this uh, five-year program, unless we embrace that ideology and realize it, there will be no future for our country, our people. And maybe during 50 years or 70 years, we are caught by that idea of happiness. And we have created a lot of tragedy within our country, our people, just because we get caught in one idea about happiness. And maybe 50 years later, 70 years later, we find out that uh, that idea of happiness has been an obstacle for the happiness of the whole nation. So if you are lucky, you can release that idea. As individuals, we also commit the same kind of mistake. We invent an idea of happiness. We cling to it. And we say that uh, unless I realize this, happiness will never be possible. That is, uh, that is why many of us cannot be happy. So releasing, releasing things, let go of things, is a very important practice. And among these things, the idea of happiness. Look, let us look deeply into our idea of happiness. And we might find out that it is exactly that idea of happiness that has prevented us to be happy. And this uh, teaching is very clear uh, in, uh, in Buddhism. Breathing in, I smile. I know happiness is possible at any moment. The wonders of life are available at any moment. I can touch them, I can be happy without any condition. And that is why, breathing out, I can release. You are very smart if you can let go of these things that have prevented you to be happy in the past. And You can be extremely happy just sitting there and uh, breathing in and out. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to get it uh, to, to achieve anything. You just sit down there. And if you know how to breathe in and out, you can be extremely happy. You enjoy the miracle of life, of being there. <coughs> So smile, release, can bring you a lot of happiness. You need to be nourished by that joy, that happiness. And that joy, that happiness can help heal the wounds within, within your body and your soul. And finally, the last exercise proposed uh, in the gata, present moment, wonderful moment, breathing in, I establish myself in a present moment. Breathing out, I know this is a wonderful moment. If someone comes and asks you this question, Has uh, 
the most wonderful moment of your life arrive or not. We might be embarrassed. We may say that, uh, well, it does not seem that it has arrived. But I strongly believe that it will arrive soon. Otherwise, my life will have no meaning. The most wonderful moment of my, my life, I have been waiting for it to arrive. But if we, we use our intelligence in order to look, we know that if we continue to live exactly in the way we have lived uh, our life during the past 20 years, not mindful at all, always running, always trying to escape. And then that most wonderful moment of our life will not uh, be likely to arrive in the next 20 years. That is something logical. But in this teaching you learn that you have to to make the present moment into the most wonderful moment of your, day, of your life. Because the present moment is the only moment available. And if you know how to go back to, to it, to be fully present, to touch the wonders of life in that moment, and that moment can, can become the most wonderful moment of your life. And you know you have the capacity of doing it. And by very simple practice, like uh, walking, breathing, smiling, touching with mindfulness, the beauties of life, the wonders of life, you can make a paradise, you can make the kingdom of God available to you in the here and the now.